Here we'll discuss the correlation between cholesterol and testosterone production. We'll explore cholesterol's role in hormone synthesis, set the record straight on some common myths about dietary cholesterol, give some real-world examples of companies doing good work to raise awareness and help you make educated decisions about the amount of cholesterol in your diet. How Cholesterol Contributes to Hormone Production Cholesterol is used to make testosterone and other hormones. Since testosterone production requires cholesterol, healthy lipid profiles are essential for maintaining a satisfactory hormonal equilibrium. The body has the ability to control its own cholesterol production, and for most people, cholesterol in the diet has a negligible effect on blood cholesterol levels. The myth that eating foods high in cholesterol, such as eggs and shellfish, is bad for your heart and raises your risk of cardiovascular disease has been around for a long time. New studies, however, have cast doubt on this long-held belief by showing that dietary cholesterol only slightly affects blood cholesterol levels. The greatest threat to cardiovascular health comes from eating too much food high in harmful saturated and trans fats. Companies that are actively working to raise awareness about cholesterol. A food producer explains the difference between good and bad cholesterol and labels their products accordingly. Understanding the role of dietary cholesterol in hormone production is useful for empowering consumers to make well-informed decisions. Workshops and culinary lessons at a health club teach participants how to prepare foods like avocados, almonds, and fatty fish, which are high in good fats and cholesterol. Promoting cholesterol's function in maintaining hormonal balance is a primary goal of these campaigns. It's crucial to keep a healthy perspective when it comes to cholesterol, even if most people don't need to worry too much about their dietary intake. Here are some things to keep in mind if you plan to add cholesterol to your diet. Pay attention to good sources. Avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil, and fatty seafood like salmon are all excellent sources of healthy fats and cholesterol. These foods and drinks supply vital nutrients and aid in the creation of hormones. Like any other part of a healthy diet, moderation is key. Maintain a diversified and nutrient-dense diet while eating a moderate amount of foods high in cholesterol. Certain individuals may need to adhere to dietary limitations regarding cholesterol consumption due to medical illnesses such as familial hypercholesterolemia or certain lipid disorders. Talk to your doctor or a trained dietitian if you have any questions or concerns about your health. Knowing the facts about cholesterol and how it works in the body will help you make better dietary and lifestyle decisions that benefit your health and hormone balance. Later on, we'll talk about the impact of alcohol and caffeine on your diet and the foods you should consume more of if you want to increase your testosterone levels. You can safely and naturally increase your testosterone levels by incorporating these dietary techniques into a larger lifestyle overhaul. Let's keep going down this path of self